guys. This one's on cooked versus raw um, meat. So to do a comparison, to look at the macro, micro, nutrient profile of the two and the reasons why humans approximately 1.5 million years ago, if you, but if you go on archaeological evidence or for a very long time, we cooked our meat. And so a lot of tribal people, that doesn't mean that humans don't eat raw meat or fermented raw meats or stuff like that. They do. But they don't um, consume them as the primary source of their nutrition. These are things that provide some probiotics like lactobacillus in the fermented stuff. And in the raw stuff, they you know, are used, you know, believe by people that you get a few enzymes and a few other things. You know, it's neither here or there. Some like the taste of it. There's a whole lot of reasons um, in different cultures and different sort of styles of raw meat. Sometimes it's uh, sort of raw meat that's dried out, you know, so it's a lot of different varieties and reasons for, for doing it. But uh, we want to look at the numbers, the actual numbers, um, not just hearsay and what people say, but the actual numbers and what they look like. And, uh, you know, and critical nutrients that people do need. Um, now, obviously, for compared to the RDIs, the RDIs, as I've always said, they're not based on science. They're based on general averages within the population and deficiencies. And so on a sad diet on a, or plant-based diet, you can't extract a lot of nutrients. And because you can't extract a lot of nutrients, you have to eat higher amounts of the RDI. You know, they, they keep on pushing it up in order to be able to get sufficient amount from those sources. The reality is we don't need as much. And obviously, you know, the differences between better oxidation and, uh, you know, and carbohydrate metabolism, there are differences you know, between fat and cut and carbohydrate metabolism, as I've shown in the previous video that I showed about, you know, the thyroid, there are differences, and we need to be cognitive and aware of this that that, that is the case. Now, what's the difference between the two, and why would humans, 1.5 million years ago, decide to go cooked and away from raw? There must have been a reason, fundamental reason, otherwise they wouldn't have done it. You know, why put a, why, you know, do make all the effort? Anyway, now let me just share my screen. Okay, so hard to find a lot of things, but I think everybody loves minced meat, patties, others like it as raw beef tatar, which I've, I have to say I do like as well. And, uh, you know, others like uh, patties, burgers, um, you know, the sort of stuff that I'm talking about. We all love that. And, uh, you know, on this side, I was trying to find identical cuts of meat, and it was really freaking hard. The only thing I could find identical was the ground um, beef, everything else was slightly varied between cooked and raw, and you know, so it became impossible to to try and actually do do the um, video justice. I had to find. Luckily, I did find these two, which are identical types of um, meat, and there are hundred grams for the non metric people out there that's 3.53 ounces 28 point oops 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 eight 28 and a third grams to get an ounce so 3.53 if you round it off got it so that's what the quantity we're looking at. Obviously, I know you carny tarts out there consume a hell of a lot more than 100 grams or 3.53 ounces, and so do I. I mean, what was the last um, big uh, enjoyment of uh, burgers? 
Oh, that's right. 600 grams. Six times this amount. <laughs> so, yeah, I did my normal pigging out. So let's move on and go into the nutritional facts in that regard. So we'll just flow through and do a complete comparison. As you can see, you know, fat slightly when you cook, you, you lose a bit of fat, but that's understandable. That's going to happen. Saturated fat goes down by, oh, it's not, it, it, yeah, it is a bit, but not dramatic. It's only four, you know, four percent. So it's gone down by 0.8. Um, the trans fats uh, like CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, and a few other types um, that uh, have, you know, gone down a bit, not not dramatic. Uh, cholesterol, when you cook the meat, you can see it goes up. So it, you actually provide provide more. So sodium also goes up becomes more available. The big one is protein. As you can see, this is the key reason why people started cooking. And the percentage is 50%. That's why. 50% increase is the reason why we started cooking meat so we could extract more protein for bones and muscles. That's it, guys. It's not the energy. The energy, you don't have much difference. A small loss, but the protein is the thing that goes up dramatically by 50%. That is the key reason why and motivation why people started cooking because they could extract more protein, you know, Anyway, so let's move on. Obviously, we do have vitamin C, but it's not the USDA data doesn't provide that. And the, and the reason why the USDA, because they don't look for it. Um, there's a you know German site that actually does. Uh, but I'm using this for now because I couldn't actually, or any other site, I couldn't find identical, you know. So we're just to keep on the key points. Um, and we know that Napoleon cured scurvy with meat, with horse meat in particular. So vitamin D does go down a, a bit, uh, but, you know, there's very little vitamin D in, in raw meat anyway. Uh, iron is a big difference. So you're going a few percentage points up. So when we look at that, 2.5 divided by 1.9, it's about 31.6%. So for the ladies, you definitely don't want it raw. <laughs> cook it, mate. I mean, cook it. <laughs> anyway. Get your head out of the gutter, Harry. Um, calcium also goes slightly up. Not a lot. It's not like a, like massive, but it's still, you know, I mean, 25, 20, sorry, 24 divided by 18 is 33%. You know, that's a third more. So it's not nothing to be sneezed at. Um, everything counts. Potassium, higher. Phosphorus, higher. Phosphorus and calcium, very important for the bones. I'll just go through each one of these stages so people can just see it, what they are. These are, you know, rounded off numbers and percentages. As you can see, They didn't actually put the water here content. Ah, anyway, it's further down. So, ah, here. Yeah. As you can see, the water content does drop in a cooked food, but it's not dramatic. It's not like 
massive. Just for completeness, as an example. Oops. Divide that by 62.47 times 100. That's nearly 10% water loss. Got it? That's, you know, so you're not going to lose like massive amounts of, uh, as well, of taurine either. You'll lose some because you've got a 10% loss. So you, there'll be some water that actually will, you know, will take carry some of that some of it as it as the water's going out will get caught in um uh, you know some of the um the fibers of the actual food itself um you know those collagen structures and whatever else of the um the tissue of the meat so you're not going to lose a horrendous amount um you actually and the also, the water, the fat content. Oops. So it's about eleven and a half percent. So you're actually losing not even ten percent, nine point nine percent water, but you're actually losing eleven and a half percent fat so actually losing a bit more fat than actually water even most people would think you would lose more water but you actually don't you know so cooking has unusual effects and when you look at that 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 information and we've looked at already that or that stuff let's go into the minerals and it's still the same thing by a weight of 100 grams, all this data. And when we look at this sort of detail, as we can see, iron goes up, potassium goes up, Magnesium goes up. Phosphorus is the cooked stuff. Goes up. Sodium goes up. Zinc goes up. Copper goes up. Manganese is sort of the same. I suspect it goes probably up a bit. There's a dramatic difference there with selenium, which is important for glutathione and stuff like that. And pretty much these are trace amounts. So... We wouldn't expect too much from those. And some of these things like iodine, chloride and chromium and all that, some of these minerals, unfortunately, they're not even calculated in some of the databases. So when you see two lines like that, it means that they were never measured. But I suspect they will, they probably go up in comparison to, to RAW as well, because I have seen other data sets of other pieces of of meat it just i had to use these ones because they had to be identical you know otherwise people would say well you haven't you looked at identical cuts of meat you know you know how people are they're always finding little things to to be annoying so anyway so i had to find identical things so i wouldn't have people frustrating me where i wanted to beat them Okay, some of my violent tendencies are coming out. Suppress, suppress, be nice. Uh, deep breath, Harry. So, oh, what have I done? To me? Oh, God. Okay, so on the retinal side, cooked meat actually goes down slightly. So there's a, a bit of a, I mean, so uh, if we're looking at the, the amount. What am I doing? 
it's just a quarter <laughs> um 25 percent it goes down oh god sometimes you when you're looking at stuff you get tunnel vision yeah sometimes you have to step back a bit now on the water soluble vitamins that most people would think you would lose far more actually they become more bioavailable thiamine goes up riboflavin goes up niacin goes up pinothenic acid goes up you know b6 goes up not by much but still goes up biotin it wasn't tested i know it does go up slightly um folate also goes up you know and you can see 10 to 7 it's about 30 percent higher so you want it raw not a good idea and so anyway let's continue going down these are the different ways they measure um folate oops Ah, oh, come on. Choline. Dramatic difference, 50%. And we know how important choline is because it spares folate as well. So, you know, you do a, a lion's diet, um, uh, you know, a sort of a lion diet raw, you're going to get less folate. You're going to get less choline that spares. And you're also going to get less B, um, uh, B12 as well, as you can see. Again, B12 down. It's only retinol that's lower by 25%. Beta, alpha, obviously those are plant-based things. That's in I, I use, you know, where you divide it by 0.3. So I'll just do that for some people that may want to know. So when you're looking at four microgra micrograms divided by 0 0.2, by 0 0.03, yeah, 13.3. They've rounded it off to 14, but that's what it is. It's 0 0.3. And then over there, three, what about 10, should be 10, because that's the actual official number so haven't really done that very well have they anyway vitamin e so you can actually see the fat soluble vitamins are the ones that are affected that go down in the actual cooked The K2, not by much. So the K2, 0.2, divided by 0.8. It's only an 11% reduction, so it's not dramatic. They're just giving an overall, they're not providing a measure. I suspect most of that's probably going to be medical known for um, anyway, but anyway. So other data. So water, obviously, as, as we covered, ash goes up. Um, and, and it does have benefits, ash, actually. So, but I'm not going to get into it. That's for another video, another time. Peril score. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, let's check that. Oh, that what the hell it is. Uh, how the diet fears and compared concept, the physiology based on development, a net acidifying diet. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, who cares? So we know that the body can regulate um, pH, so that's irrelevant because that's what it is about. So obviously there's not going to be any sugar in there. We'll look at the at the fats. Obviously the raw will have slightly more fats. So mono goes a bit down. Uh, poly goes a bit down. Um, both threes and sixes go a bit down, not by much. Um, ALA goes a bit down. Um, and pretty much the risk because it's getting it. The reason why it has that is because it's getting it from a, from plants and they. Now, conjugated linoleic acid goes down a bit when it's cooked. Obviously, we don't have, there are trace amounts. I have seen other data, but there's not much of the medium chain triglycerides. So we're going to move on from there because obviously they won't, they won't have any phytosterols. We'll go to the important stuff. I'll put links to these anyway so people can go through, look at them in their own. As you can see, Histidine, these are the essential ones. Isoleucine, leucine, nearly two grams. So it's a considerable difference on the leucine side. Like all of them, you know, it's about 50 odd percent, you know, so pretty much. Yeah, those conditions we are. Again, arginine more, cysteine more, glycine more, proline more, tyrosine more. So you sort of get the gist, the gist of it. And alanine. Spartic acid, betaine. Betaine also, you know, plays a role in methylation because choline gets converted to betaine in the meth methionine cycle of methylation. So it's important. And glutamate, obviously. Poor glutamate gets demonized so much when it is essential for the immune, the immune system. Anyway, they did not measure in the cooked. That's wonderful, but I suspect it would be higher as well, like everything else. Um, serine is higher, everything else. So, you know, these are, you know, it's, it's the same meat, okay? It's just cooked. So they would be higher and more bioavailable. It's because cooking the food actually breaks down the proteins, allowing you then to further break it down in the stomach 
into amino into a bigger pool of amino acids. That's why it's important to cook if you want more protein. And that's, you know, we're pretty much at the bottom there of the whole thing. Pretty much covers it all. So I'll just stop that. So as you can see, you know, the advantage of actually cooking meat meant that we could get more, we could extract more amino acids from the actual meat itself as far as digestion. And my video camera has decided to go out of focus slightly. Wonderful. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. That's pretty much covered um, this issue. I hope that was informative to you. Why you should consume most of your food, you carny tarts, as raw as cooked, not raw. Do the other stuff raw. You know what I mean. See is.